Hi, Luke Southerton here. I'm going to show you how to finish your drawing for the dragster in TSA. In the last video, we took this piece of wood and created this drawing. One thing I want to remind you is that the only things that should be dark is this and this. This is just the tracing of the block. You should do that lightly because eventually you're going to erase that. I just have it dark here so you can actually see it. It's hard to see light lines in the video. The finished drawing should look something like these. But before you get too carried away where you're drawing, you have to review the rules. Let's talk about these rules in more detail. These are the dragster rules for the 2019-2020 school year. So if you're not in that school year, make sure you look at your own. There's a few things I want to emphasize which are probably the same every year. Things you need to enter is a dragster, the drawing, and a leap response. Again, today we're focusing on the drawing. The drawing needs to be two views on 11 by 17 paper. We're going to be using traditional drafting methods. You do need a title block. The title block looks like this. Make sure you draw that on there. And this is the one. Dragsters that do not meet the following specifications and tolerance will be disqualified from the race. So again, before you start drawing, you have to make sure you read through all the rules here and make sure you know what things you, you need to do. For instance, the body length, you'll notice there's a, a maximum and a minimum. So minimum, maximum. Every single criteria has a maximum and minimum. So as you're drawing, make sure you meet those criteria. Things I'll be looking for in the drawing is body length, the body width at the point the axles pass through the body front and back, the bottom of the axle hole or bearing above the bottom of the car, the axle hole from the front and rear of the car, the wheelbase, the hole depth, and the chamber diameter. I'll also be checking safety zone thickness, although I'm not going to make you dimension that. If you look at the drawing, those things are, are listed right here. So the total length, how far the axle is from the bottom of the car, how far the axle hole is from the front, the back and front of the car, how far the axle holes are away from each other. Let's see how deep the chamber is, the chamber diameter, and how wide the car is. Again, as you're drawing, make sure you meet those criteria. Let's start drawing. Oh yeah! Tools you'll need. Tools you'll need. T-square, triangle, French curves, circle template, an eraser shield. And of course, a ruler. And the ruler has to be metric. Right there's the metric side. And remember, all those lines on the outside should be light. I'm going to go ahead and try to erase them. There we go. The only thing that should be dark is the power plant holes. One thing I suggest is come up with a few sketches of ideas. Um, you want a car that the air is just going to swoop right around. You want it to be aerodynamic. The more aerodynamic your car can be, the faster it'll be. Maybe I think I'm just going to go for something like this in this particular example. Just maybe I'll make some light lines here. By the way, this distance here, that's going to have to be more than three millimeters. Again, that's that safety zone thickness. Um, let's see my, my length is this, I believe. Now you notice I have two curves here. The way I connect those is you flip this tool and you would do something like, of course I'm making the lines light. And now I'm going to go ahead and darken in the lines that, that I want. Maybe I'll do something like, um, oh, maybe I'll keep it simple. I'm just going to round the front. That's all I'm going to do. Ah, actually, I changed my mind. Maybe I'll make it a little narrow on the inside here. Gonna make that light. Maybe I'll do something like this. So right there's the one design. And what I'm gonna do now is take a piece of tracing paper. 
carefully as I can. And cut this out. And now to make sure this thing really is symmetrical, they do want it in metric, so 1164 would be about four millimeters. That's how you dimension the, the size of the hole. Now there's a few ways you can go about doing this. I want to remind you that one of the criteria. Okay, let's talk about the axle hole placement. The maximum height, the bottom of the axle has to be no less than five, no more than 10. I usually recommend eight. So I'm gonna take a ruler and measure up eight centimeters, put a mark. Maybe I'll put my other hole here, eight centimeters, put a mark. And then we're gonna be using 1164 drill bit, so I'm gonna find the 1164 circle template and draw a circle there and a circle there. Again, I want the bottom of the axle hole to be eight centimeters above the bottom of the car. Could be as little as five, could be as much as 10. I recommend eight. Now you can't see those in the top view, so you need to draw dashed lines at the edges of the axle hole in the top view. And because it's a hole, you're gonna have to draw a center line. So that's a long line, a dash, and a long line. And then basically I need to just dimension it. And the dimensions, well, I guess I'll show you how to start them. Uh, whatever you're dimensioning, let's say I'm dimensioning how far the, the axle holes are apart. Um, so it says from the, the end of the car, at the furthest point, so I'm gonna drop a line down. It's called an extension line. I'll drop a line down here, and then you draw a line in between those with arrows. And whatever that measurement is, in metric, you'd put it there. 206 millimeters. All right, finished drawing. I have the title block. I dimensioned the axle hole, how far it is up, how far over it is, how far apart the axle holes are from each other, how far the front axle hole is from the front of the car, what's the axle hole diameter. I have the chamber depth, I have the chamber diameter. I have how wide the car is. Those are the things I want to see. Um, another thing you could show is, is the total length. Of course, if you add this plus this plus that, it would give you total length. But if you want to show total length as well in this drawing, you know that you can do that too, since the judges will be um, checking to make sure it's the correct length. Once you have all that, show it to me, your teacher, and if everything looks good, I'll prove it and you'll be able to start building. Just make sure that you're trained on the tools before you start building. I have to be the one to train you on the tools. All right, good luck.